Listen to Dead Heads, baby. I've never felt so alive in my life. My name's Cody Black, and when you see me, I'm In this studio, looking at a guy out here, yeah. hollering my name. It's Go ahead, me, baby, let's go. When I see you, I spend more money on spilling. You're going to have to fucking kill me. Yeah, this song goes so hot and it makes me want to be back. Go follow Izzy and Griffin on Spotify or wherever you get your music. Together, we can be black. I, we ain't going nowhere. Except we to prison. Go nowhere. We are. Except to Costa Rica. <laughs> Wherever the fuck I flew to. Where'd he fly to? In the, uh, the Caribbeans. I think uh, it wasn't Costa Rica. It was like some weird island where they don't have extradition laws. Bro, I would have flew to Russia. Oh no, dude! They they don't like blacks there. Oh shit! I didn't. They, know don't, that. Like, they don't like B Diddy there, dude. All I right. watch. I watch some. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But I, uh, yeah, I watched some of um, Putin with fucking Tucker and him talking about the super soldiers. I actually finally got around to watching dude. it, dude. Pretty gnarly, dude. It's like, do we have X Men? When he was talking about like, yeah, we we might uh, we can breed somebody with genetics of super smart, super military smart. I'm like, damn. Maybe but put them into the NFL. They, I wonder Jefferson. if they they selectively bred uh, fucking Epstein and Diddy to being good at at fucking finding the sexy boys. It's like, what if their like whole breeding program just produced Joe Rogan and Andrew Huberman? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like <laughs> weird muscular like 55 year olds. Yeah, I don't know. They 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 seem to be fucking good at. Um, you know, I don't know. Getting people who like little boys, P. Diddy. Did you see that P. Diddy had cameras inside of his entire house? His entire house had cameras and that he he had filmed without anyone's consent every single quote unquote freak party that he had. He had freak parties? Yeah, so you didn't know that? P. No, Diddy was was like notorious for having freak parties like this is like not even conspiracy knowledge. No, I've been trying to have this like uh, come to me. This is one like since it's out in the open, I'm just like this is kind of out of my range. Yeah. Let me just have so, like black Twitter funnel me the information. Yeah, me. Or you, you have oh, me. Yeah. Black. I am black Twitter. It all comes from fortune. Speaking of, I have a song <laughs> called uh, "I'm Black" coming out on four four. Just nope. that's real. That's actually real. I am black. No uh, black face. No black face. Yeah. No. So he. Uh, he would have these parties and like obviously they would be like crazy sex parties and stuff. And uh, yeah, he had cameras inside of his, wherever he was throwing them, he had cameras in his entire house, everywhere. So the amount of shit that he has filmed and has blackmail of is insane. Spe on top of that, the, the, re the thing that I found out with Diddy, like I've known Diddy was a weirdo for a while. It, for me, it was, I was on 4chan and there was a, a bunch of videos when Justin Bieber was first discovered when he's like 15 and Diddy like has him around his, you know, his arm around him and he's just super like, yeah, this, yo, this J Biebs, like he just got his 15 year old boy. Every wish he ever had just came true. Every 15 year old boy's dream. Oh, I can't wait to. So he, no. And Justin Bieber looks like really freaked out and, uh, he like gifted him, I think a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or something. Um, yeah, why do you think like Bieber has like his like religious mentor following him like everywhere he goes? Like he's yeah. obviously traumatized. Yeah, no, and I mean it's really sad. Like it, it's here's here's what I'm gonna say really quick. Um, really quick. Anyone who <laughs> <laughs> anyone at this point who is interested in getting into Hollywood, not entertainment in general, specifically Hollywood, and there's a couple of you who I've cut ties with recently, <laughs> who specifically want to go into Hollywood. You're a fucking weirdo. Like, that's weird. Um, Dude, they want to go weird. into that's weird. Hollywood at, like, this hyper, like, fast, like, way. It's not, no. I don't know. No, not even, not even, not even that at all. It, <laughs> not even that. Like, I'm talking about, it's so obvious that you have to be involved in some sort of either weird sex shit some like dude, it's all yeah it's all like weird none right of now. it is normal dude so if like, you are like into hollywood you're a fucking weirdo and i'm so glad i didn't fucking move to la and i didn't do the whole fucking gay uh faggot podcast network literally bullshit like puff daddy <laughs> think about his names really quick okay puff daddy uh-huh p diddy mm-hmm did Lur? Did Lee? Yeah, Diddy. that's a you're, ah, that's a good ah, one. Hey, <laughs> hey. So, um, um, you know what he went by for a second, and you can't even find this on Wikipedia. What? I swear to God, I remember me and uh, my buddy Day Day talking about this. Okay, his name for like 
he was either talking about changing his name to this or he did it for a very small moment. It was Dirty Diddy Daddy. Think about that shit for Triple a second. Triple D. Triple D, the original Triple D. Not diners, drive-ins, and dives. Triple Diddy Daddy. A rapper that has daddy in his name? Is weird. Diddy well, So. So on mm-hmm. top of the here, shout out our guy first. Shout oh, yeah. out your guy. All right. Shout out your guy first. We have like our legit first sponsor on the podcast, HitKit. Go to HitKit. I like this shit. Yep, good job. Right. <laughs> He's breaking it's it. Detachable. He's breaking no, the hit kit. It's detachable. That's the great part. Oh, okay, cool. It's like a mason jar bong because mm-hmm. I'm a bong guy. I okay. don't like smoking out of pipes. It yeah. hurts my lungs. makes me cough too much. And what I like about this, it's glass on glass. It's there, You're not smoking out of metal and you're not like burning any plastic. And cool. this guy rules. He's a fan of the podcast. Yeah, no, he's really nice. He's really and nice on Instagram. He fucking rules. Go check out his company. Yeah, we'll put his Instagram. Hit um, kit. We'll put his Instagram and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, no, he's dude. really, really nice guy. Thank you for listening to the Shout show. Shout out, man. Um, yeah, that's good for you. I don't do drugs, so I'm not a drug addict. Oh, <laughs> well, I was a drug, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So wait. Anyways, back to Triple Diddy, da- Dirty Daddy Diddy. Um, Dirty Diddy. Daddy. So the, and then like I learned about it from the Justin Bieber stuff, and then it got weirder with the Meek Mill shit, dude. And did you hear the audio? I didn't hear the audio. Is it nuts? <laughs> uh, what happened? Okay, so. Like it, it might be like just gay porn, playing, probably. But then, like it, it, it kind of sounds like Meek like Mill. Meek Mill, yeah. And it sounds like Meek Mill getting slammed in the ass. That rocks, dude. Well, yeah, it he is definitely. Like, it's, it's graphic well, audio. He definitely like does. As I do that, I start itching my balls. No, so he. I mean, there's like tweets of Meek Mill being like, "I love my daddy," and it's like at Puff Daddy and like weird. I mean, my dirty diddy daddy. I don't know. It's just crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy how this shit does operate at, at a certain level. And I mean, dude, you know, like what's weird is like, it seems like every conspiracy is coming to a head and kind of yeah. like a good way to like test that is like, you're having like mainstream people yeah. talk about tower seven all the yeah. time. Like just normal things. Dude, I, I feel freaking I me feel out. like this is, well, I mean, as a as a, a Christian, you know, I like what I think is going to happen. Like what I think is going to happen is inevitable, in my opinion. But I think let's bar that for a moment, right. and let's just say let, let's say none of my Christian beliefs. Let's not bring those in. There is like something has to give soon because it's just like I mean every single aspect of people's lives are, are being consumed and trashed from like the, the politicians are senile old men, obviously corrupt too. like yeah. insider trade. It's like, not even that, we, so, not even that, not, no, we won't like, even everything say is that on the table. Like it's not even being, yeah. Paid. Yeah. Like, 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 like every single celebrity is obviously into nefarious bullshit. Like, I mean, it's just like, it's literally every single aspect, like financially, like everyone's just fucked. It, it's just like something has to give, I don't know what it is. I think like barring my beliefs, I would say like they literally have to throw us into a, like a world war. They like it's have either, to. Yeah. It's like either a world war or like an economy crash equivalent to like 2008 or like the great. Be, it has to be worse. It has to be worse, dude, because in 2019, we were, uh, we were pretty much there in the two that we were about, well, we were cr- about in the great recession. And actually some of the numbers that are going on now are worse than the oh, fucking yeah. great recession. The crazy thing is recession. Like, the recession, like when it happened, that was like probably the best like business we've been doing with China. Everything was great. That was literally only the housing market that collapsed our fucking economy, dude. Just imagine like the ease like going back to the Obama movie on Netflix, the day the something or whatever that fucking the name. The day the music died. <laughs> the day the last president was black. The day the music died. <laughs> uh, no, so I don't know. It's just like fucked up. It's just crazy. Like, cause even like when you try to get away from it, and you're like, I'm going to go listen to some tunes. It's like you put on Jay-Z and he's like, <laughs> I don't put on Jay-Z. No, and <laughs> it's, it's just like a guy who thinks he's a gay painter who fucking dude. Uh, you know, who's, who's the guy who fucking helped find him is a fucking pedophile. It's Do you think crazy. he's like the next to fall? Maybe Hove? No, I don't think so. I think he's too powerful because there's some of them are too powerful, dude. Like 
you you want to know how much like Diddy is worth? I actually wrote this down because it was guess. blowing my let mind. Let me guess. Can I guess? How much? Yeah, just let me put a little context around it. How much was he worth? Um, in 2017, 600 million. Oh no, 130. Really? 130. Okay. He's worth 2.3 billion now. Dude, in 2022, he was worth one billion. He's Damn, like doubled crazy. his shit in yeah, like a crazy. year and a half. Well, I, I know that's that fucking crazy. Yeah, Dr. Dre was the first like hip hop billionaire. So you can that's only crazy. get there by swallowing cock. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to be <laughs> multiple, multiple Neek Millcox. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy that like at least our boy Ye, w- fucking d- r- Ye text like he was like texting Dude. P Diddy and he was like every text you send me Diddy I'm releasing publicly because I don't trust you. Dude, because he was involved in one of like Diddy's like under label things he had going on. Who? Uh, Ye, Kanye. Ye. Not I, Ye. I just say I Ye. see the Y and E. I'm so like, wait, okay. So wh- which one? Good music? Was he like an affiliate no, of Good Music was, or Cruel uh, Summer or something? I can't remember the name. It was. It's like you can find it on like a Wikipedia. He yeah. joined in like 2015, so it was a while ago. But like my whole thing, like it's weird looking at all the artists under. What's well, like, dude? Like that's PD. like David Geffen. David Geffen is a known pedophile. That's like real. Like, but like, P. he's Diddy a known made, gay p- pedophile. But P. Diddy made his name through music, and his music. So did David that Geffen. Fucking good though. No, but he's a producer. He's not. He's not. He Diddy? found. He f- yeah. P. Diddy founded fucking Biggie Smalls. Bad, 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 bad boy. That literally has a bunch of rap from fucking Puff Daddy in it when he was Puff Daddy. No, but he was m- mainly a producer. He was like he he started fucking whatever bad boy and all yeah. that other shit so but like I mean, he's, he's no he's almost more like a suge knight he's not so much like a well he raps a lot more than suge knight yeah right? but he's known he's more notorious yeah he's, like, just he's like definitely not going to be like r kelly we're like he's r like kelly a club got in promoter. trouble for a bunch of shit and people are still like you know what remix ignition is still great so that's not yeah. going to happen with any puff daddy song yeah but that i mean yeah i don't yeah i don't i don't, I don't know um he just like he's. <laughs> I don't he's know a, how to a, respond to that. A, no, he's like a great. He's a boule grifter, is what I'll say. He's a boule grifter. <laughs> yeah, he's a boule grifter. Yeah, Dude, so like, his most popular songs are featuring other people. Either yeah, Biggie, I'm not talking about his music. I'm bass, talking about that he's a like a he's a he's a Jeffrey Epstein of hip hop. Well, how about this, Ciroc, vodka. Yeah, they like. Did you see that they like? He's like, he they, beat Tom and Bert. <laughs> To yeah. The fucking, oh yeah. Yeah. He, he's, yeah. He's a boule <laughs> grifter. That's so dude, fucking funny. He's an OG grifter. OG. No. Yeah. He is. Well, I mean, all of Biggie Smalls' uh, personality that Puff Daddy gave him, he just stole from another guy. Hey Puff, don't suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking me out. Hey, don't suck my dick, man. So uh, that's not cool. He. Uh, no. Yeah. He like stole. Like all of Biggie Smalls is like named after I don't know it's like Fatty Fatty P or some shit it's like all of it. They even stole the Juicy song. The Juicy song's not even Biggie Smalls as originally. Yeah, but I mean that can be said for a lot. Like a lot of people do do like sample or just cover. No, shit. they stole the song. They just covered it basically. Look, dude, how many? No, they did. Rain. That's not covering. Oh. They stole. They, no, not the they, sample. They took they, the whole thing. I, they took another artist's song. That'd be like if yeah. someone that, like that'd that be like if today a lot by the way they just I know speed that it up a little I bit. I. I Oh my God, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Well, you weren't. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> leave, motherfucker, because you didn't finish. It, it'd be like if I released fucking "Shake It Off" and was like, "This is my song." Yeah. They, I'm not talking about a sample. They took so, yeah, a no. an unknown artist song, and then they said, "This is yeah, his like song." Robin Black. What's he that? got sued for that um song that he stole from like that '70s like Earth, Wind, and Fire type band. Big Black from Robin Dick. No, Robin Black. He was like this white, like, his song came out in like fucking 2015. Robin was, Thick? Whatever, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who Robin Thick is, dude. His dad was well, a super because, popular how, radio DJ. Right, I don't know that. How am I supposed to know <laughs> who Robin Black is if you're getting the name? If I was, it'd be like no, if I was not, like, I, I, yeah, the strikes. And what, you're like, do you mean I, the strokes? When did I expect you to know it? I'm just saying. Because how are we no, supposed no, to have I'm a conversation saying, if I don't back, know what you're talking about? That's all. Just take it off my back. Get I'm, on Diddy's I'm back. Off he deserves back. it. He's the one running from the law. Am I running from you? No. Am I running from the you're, law? You nope. literally, you're metaphorically running from me confronting you about... You want to... Not... Wanna, no. <laughs> so wait. Go? So d- d- he hasn't gotten arrested then yet, huh? He's still on the run? I think so. Like, that's the last thing I saw. I didn't even know where he flew to. I thought it was like just cute. No, nah, nah, he's like... It was, it was a place where they don't extradite. But I know that 
like 4chan was tracking his jet. Dude, that'd that. be sick if he just like stays down there and there's this whole back and forth going on and there's slow leaks of... I mean, that's what's literally what's, what ha- what's happening. Poor Meek Mill. Poor no, Meek I Mill. Know. I don't know. He that, just like, takes you, it you, up the butt. Dude, you, he put himself in that situation. Like, yeah, he and, make and a lot for of money. What, And for whatever reason, he like... Diddy liked publicly like shaming him. There's like uh there's videos where it's like uh yeah, you know you know what that means if you've been in Diddy's pool and it's like all the people in the pool and like people aren't allowed in the pool. Do you remember you know what I'm talking he, about? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Do you remember when he dressed up as the Joker? Yeah. Do you think he fucked somebody <laughs> dressed as the Joker? <laughs> He's got, dude, I'm the Joker, he's baby. He's out of his mind, dude. He's got him. <laughs> dude, dude P- no, you need to fuck me a white face. You P- need to fuck me a white face. P. Diddy I'm having Heath sex. Ledger. P. Diddy having sex with Meek Mill as the Joker. <laughs> he was a pretty decent, like white face Joker. Mm, he was. He was dude. the fire. Dude, I'm the uh, Joker, somebody gotta baby. Fuck me. I need a. <laughs> hey, Wale. Nope. Okay, Meek Mill. Oh my dude. God, that's so funny. That'd be so funny. That's like the funniest thing on. I, I just I don't feel like riffing it because I don't want to do a cringe black Joker. I don't feel like doing a cringe. Yo, Meek, come over here, suck, suck me. You know, <laughs> hey yo, you know how I got these scars in my ass. Oh, this makes I fucking hate it, dude. I hate when you do that accent. You know, I got. I like hate when you do it. It like makes it like hurts my chest when you do a black accent. It like fucking hurts me. Oh, calm down. No, I don't know why it's so bad. No. Dude, just picture me as the Joker. You've done a black accent more than I have. Like, no, I on know, this show, but, but like, no, it's not that. It's, it's just like, it's, uh, like I'm, when I, certain people do, like when my dad texts me to celebrate Passover, it's like the same that thing. That is not the same level. <laughs> that is not. Dude, no, he did he no. dress like Let's, the Joker fucking Meek Mill? It's <laughs> that's, that's got a rule. Not for a Meek Mill. Oh my god. Dude, imagine the so power funny. Diddy thought he had when he dressed up as the joke. That is so <laughs> funny. Look at hang on, hang on. Diddy unrecognizable <laughs> as a joker. <laughs> Bro. No, that's not the Joker. It's Diddy. It's slamming Meek Mill. Dude, this is so funny. I'm going to make a shirt that's Diddy Joker, dude. <laughs> dude. He might be like the best. <laughs> Joker don't play him. <laughs> and dedication. Diddy was unrecognizable. But don't take it from us. In one video, fellow rapper Tyler, the creator, can be heard calling his oh, no. costume top tier. This is top tier. Get out of the car. Ooh. <laughs> Let me arrest you. Let me fuck you, Tyler. Dude. Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian shared on her story that Diddy quote. They're all connected, bro. Dude, it's all of fucking. That's really close, dude. Dude, he looks just fucking dude, like him. Whoever did Diddy's makeup like nailed it. It's Diddy. As seen on social media, the hip hop logo went all ever. out this year for Halloween, channeling the dark. Yeah, this will be a sound drop for sure, dude. DC Comics villain. You know the Joker don't play that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the black Tony Hinchcliffe. That's my favorite, dude. Oh my god, dude. Tony Hinchcliffe dressed up as Black Joker would He's be the so next funny. To fall. He's been the Joker don't play that, baby. My name's Tony Hinchcliffe. I've been fucking comedian. Oh my Hold god. Time. I'm gonna sc- hang on. Let me screenshot him. You want to be on Kill? Tony, you have to suck my pony. You got to suck my pony to be on Kill Tony. <laughs> That's Dude. so fucking funny. God, what do you, you like? What would be your plan if you're Diddy and like? I mean, like, oh fuck! Like if I was a fucking a country, like if I was an intercontinental <laughs> fucking pedophile sex, sex trafficker, trafficker, yeah. Uh, it's a good what, HBO series. Uh, what Jump would on. I do? <laughs> I would just honestly good food, like how do you chill? <laughs> I would probably just start getting as fucked up as possible for as long as I could. There you go. What I would just start drinking like like but Diddy. So he, okay, billions. let me ask you a question. Like, do you think that like people like Diddy have like just the most next level drugs? Like yeah. they have to have drugs that don't even exist, right? Like Yeah, John McAfee was like creating his own super meth. Yeah. <laughs> he was only a software like programmer. God yeah. knows what like two billion dollars will get you, yeah, dude. Like, know. like the Breaking Bad meth has got to be real. Like meth that's barely bad for you, 
There, yeah, there has to be. Like, there's like already Adderall and shit like that. Like, there's like, gotta be. There has to be like a some like lip tied or some shit. People are just fucking starting. or like a fucking kind of heroin that like you can't tell if you're on it. Like, there has to be something because if like I could not imagine, dude, like the amount of stress I would feel running an international. <laughs> Sex trafficking ring. Like, oh, you need. I kind of feel bad for Diddy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for Joker bad, Diddy, dude. Bad, 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 bad boys. Boy. <laughs> Make me feel so good. Dude, look at Make Diddy Joker. So look at him. Uh, oh, he's hugging Will Smith. Is that Will Smith? No, that's not Will Smith. Heck. That's uh, some other black guy. Dude, Diddy Joker. I got a tweet. What should I tweet? What do you mean? What should you tweet? You're the, I I don't tweet. I don't know. Diddy Joker is just, Diddy Joker is just so fucking funny. Yeah, you got to definitely like remind the general public of Diddy Joker because people forget how out of cucking control that was. Like right dude, after the pandemic, dude. He's yeah, like, watch that's this. So funny. It's like Diddy as the Joker is so perfect. It's He's so got to be on like some type of coke. Like oh yeah, because like, like higher ups can get pure one hundred percent cocaine. See, which is weird because. Like, I don't understand how they even make... Look at this picture, dude. That is so funny. It's like almost Heath Ledger, though. Like, like even the fucking little f forehead, like... Dude. Jesus. Diddy as a Joker is so fucking good. That'd be so cool if they were like, damn, we were going to cast him. We yeah, can't do um, a new Batman anymore. Well, they were going to do a black Batman. Will Smith was going to play Batman. They were going to do a black Batman. Dude, stop casting 50-year-olds for your next superhero. No, you this is this was like 20 years ago. Okay, good. This is a long time ago. Nicolas Cage Superman would have been good. Have you seen those? Yeah, that it actually looked kind of cool. It actually did look kind of sick. Dude, and that was before like okay. AI was writing. Okay, movies. let's let's play this game. This is a fun game. You can do you can pick any actor you want to play your biopic. Mm. Who would you pick? Fuck. And then, okay, how about this? You pick who you would pick for yourself, and then I'll pick who I would play for you, and then we'll do it vice versa. Okay, I'd pick... It can be anyone. I'd pick Jake Gyllenhaal for me, for okay. sure, because okay. he's a beautiful boy, Okay. and he, he was ripped, you know? That's who you'd pick for you. I'd like to be ripped. I would pick Zach Galifianakis for Fuck, you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that fat. Can I, okay, so who would you pick for me? Um, like, see, I was going to say Chris Hemsworth, but then he said Zach Galifianakis. So you're like <laughs> long haired David Spade. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate, dude, do you know what I used to teach that the kids would always be like, you look like David Spade really? and it would make me so angry. Cause I don't look like him. I was just thinking of dude, like blonde hair. I, I, I don't know if I've talked about this on the fucking podcast, but I need to fucking say something. Everybody needs to just stop saying that people look like other people because your perception of yourself is always different. Oh, yeah. Your perception of other people is always different. It never goes well. Oh, yeah. Even it never goes well when you're like, hey, you look like Tiger Woods. Like, that does, that is a horrible, just don't ever say <laughs> even that. Even down to how your voice sounds. I think I sound good. Everybody's like, fucking Red Band? Yeah. Red Band? Yeah, you think people think no! you're Red Band all the time. I hate him. I hate that That's guy. so fucking He's, funny. That guy's like, what are the creepiest fucking guys of all time on I, podcast? I think dude? I would pick for myself, I, I have to go Brad Pitt, dude. Yeah. I just had to be like Brad Pitt gained 40 pounds. No, you'd have to lose. For, yeah. <laughs> like, no, if Brad Pitt gained 40 pounds. He'd, I'm, I don't know if I'm that big. Maybe 30, maybe 30. Yeah. That, but I mean, he's kind of frail, dude. Like, I have like, I have skinny. like shit body. I'm built like a fucking mini fridge, dude. It sucks. Why do you think I'm like you? wide? I'm like built like a fucking like outdoor garage I fridge. I'm five nine and I'm built the same way as you. Yeah. And I'm I like three pits. inches taller than you. I'm all pits, dude. <laughs> like, I don't dude, get it. Okay, I'm like, you know, you know, David Cho. I'm like white David Cho. That's how I'm built. I have a big head, but a small head at the same time. Big and shoulders. My shoulders are huge. I look like Tizo touchdown. I'm wearing shoulder pads. His shoulders and tits. No, and dude, I'm always sitting on my computer. So I'm like this, or I'm talking into a microphone, or I'm singing into a microphone. So my body is, I'm just fucking melding forward. It's curling up. It looks fucking, I look hellish. Dude, I've been wearing my hair up. 
and I get a side profile just randomly, and I'm like, I look like one of those things from the Dark Crystal. Those birds, <laughs> the bird. where they're fucking beak. I look fucking insane. Yeah, you're like, oh shit. My and I'm not gotta- fat, but I'm not skinny, and I'm not buff, but I'm not flabby. Like it's the like the same this- weird. It's fucked. It did suck. At least you got like you're six. No, you're almost six feet. You're like five eleven. Yeah, I'm like yeah, but you know, dude, imagine, it- dude, imagine how Joe Rogan feels. He like. He's legitimately reigned five six. He's legitimately yeah, but five he six. He has to work out to like make it look semi normal. Dude, have you seen the clip? Speaking of Joe Rogan, have you seen Joe Rogan. have you seen <laughs> have you seen the clips of Joe Rogan from like the nineties? Have you ever watched those? Yeah, it's weird. He's like gay, dude. Do you want to hear his voice? Do you want to hear him? Well, no, that was before he started taking like testosterone no, all the time. Though. No, not even like not even his not even his tone. The way he speaks, he speaks effeminately. I mean he was Rain. on it. I mean, yeah, but like, no, no, like, fit of the doubt. He was on a sitcom when he came out here, like immediately. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, let's do this first of all. Let's do this first and foremost. We need to do this. We need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy, eight hundred pounds, silverback What's hair bursting through the people? trees. <laughs> <laughs> that's comedy, dude. Why does he think that's so funny? Like he thinks that that is so funny because his favorite comedian, Sam Kinison who was just professional at yelling. He had some good bits, but like his whole thing was just like, ah! yeah, that wow! was like, yeah, wow! yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. 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 Wow! yeah, yeah. That's like <laughs> yeah. every single punchline for that guy. Dude. Uh, let me see. Joe, Ro- Joe Rogan tonight show. So is Joe Rogan like canceled from like tonight show? This, this is the one I'm talking about. Uh, this like, listen to his voice. This is like, so weird. It looks like he's on Coke. Yeah. Well, it was the finale. Excited it's about nice. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really funny one. We did a Titanic episode. <laughs> but it takes place it takes place in a radio station. How do you Not do really. that? Really, they kind of we we kind of did what if. You know, oh, news radio wasn't a radio station, but a luxury cruise cruise liner. So it's <laughs> I mean, this sounds like shameless. It's a left earring. Okay, that was normal for the nineties and eighties. You know, Bill has my stepfather has his uh, left ear pierced only. To be in the cage, I wouldn't want to fight anybody. I'd want to just sort of hang on. Just, stuff. Yeah, just, yeah. just like the, the rain. Come on, you're not telling me that he's a little effeminate here. Like the way he's talking and moving his hands, he's like you're gonna touch him a little bit. Like, dude, come yeah, on. I mean, he's gay. I, I think he's gay. A little much. I really think Joe Rogan's closeted gay. I swear he to God, be, I do. But I really do think he is because his I, wife is hot. He cheats on her. I think it's so. Okay, rain. Dude, I think people the, with that much money. Like, the the egregious the egregious sin that Bapa did when he when he outed <laughs> Joe Rogan for cheating on his wife like you have to be so fucking stupid like dude f- okay imagine first of all imagine breaking the sanctity of marriage you're just a piece of shit yeah <laughs> i had to say that i just throw yeah, that dis- disclaimer out no but <laughs> um, imagine like that you are famous and you're a public figure and you're you're in this like type of environment where you are talking for a living about your life. You would think that like the shit that you would let out would be super tight knit. And if you were with your boys like cheating on people, you would think that you would all have a spoken agreement. Like, hey, you might have do no. I'm listen. Listen to where I'm going with this. To be like, do not speak about this at all. And for Brandon Shaw, Bapa, to just be like, Joe Rogan gets so much pussy. <gasps> like, you have to be so fucking stupid. That's why you don't tell your secrets to some of the CTE. Yeah, I don't know, dude. So fucking, I don't You're know. Like, man. don't tell Brendan Shaw your phone number. He might accidentally just be like, oh, yeah, like the 8675309. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, Oops. well, <clears throat> speaking of. Recording live? The phone number, I got, you, you know what people do need to normalize, speaking of phone numbers? Changing their phone number, like, every year. I haven't changed mine since I was uh, in 20 years. That, that, like that, I think that's so dumb. Maybe it's because I used to uh, allegedly... <laughs> You've been on the run, maybe. <laughs> uh, not on the run. <laughs> I haven't been on the run. I kind of was a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like, you could put it that I, way. I, I was, like, wanted. as much... As much legally mentally you could be on, on the run mentally on the run <laughs> I'm mentally on the run well i i still think like that dude I, i'm always changing shit up i'm never yeah, you're not don't going know back to I fucking am. georgia that's for sure you're not really george not really not even that but just like no. in general just like you know like but i really do think people should normalize that because like i'm a fan of uh, cutting the grass real low as low as you can possibly cut it you know what i'm saying like i trim the hedges when i trim the hedges well, that's good because you can watch for snakes when you do that. 
Tall yeah. grass makes room for snakes. Yeah, exactly. What's the fuck out for yeah, snakes? Yeah, and I'm not a I'm not a fan of grass. I'm not a fan of grass. No, I'm it makes not a you grass guy. White people don't like grass. It makes us itchy. It ma- yeah, no, fuck all that. Yeah, do you, you know what's, you know what I learned recently about the blacks? <laughs> no, let me know. Wait, they're they're lactose intolerant. I think like not ninety them, percent I'm, of like humans are. That's so weird. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, like, I I I thought it was like an Asian not thing. Just black people. No, my well, my girlfriend slash you know soon to be wife one day. She she get her stomach gets all fucked up when she eats. Um, yeah, so like, geez, uh, I didn't know that. I just didn't know that that's like such a thing. So like the internet says at least that like um, after like ten years old or something around that age, like ninety percent of humans lose like that enzyme that mm-hmm. is able to easily uh, digest okay. milk. So kind of like, like the extra calf muscle, but the opposite. Yeah, so that's why like no kids are like lactose intolerant unless they're pussies. Yeah, got you. So. um... I feel like you were about to say something. You, you look excited when you when you're gonna say when you have a, a bomb, you're no, gonna drop. You start getting excited. No, so I, 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 I what are you gonna say? Just saved up. Like I've been watching, dude. Every time I leave YouTube alone for one second, I'm mm-hmm. playing a video. It starts playing Bar Rescue. Bar Rescue, sick. Well, I think he needs to find another avenue, and I think I got it. What is it? Like, oh, shit. What was it? Dude. There, here we go. <laughs> of course, dude, you fucking were locked dude. and fucking loaded, and then so, your gun was on safety. I, I got it. I got it. Because it's like a, this whole like it's an amalgamation of all right. Of thoughts, Ooh, dude. nice word. Fuck yeah, dude. Got a word. All right, all right, dude. So one of the biggest things everybody loves on YouTube is like pedo hunting. Okay. Imagine John Taffer being like, a pedophile hunter, upgrading the pedophile hunter shows. Okay. To be even better to catch okay, better I like pedophiles. This. I like this. Bigger show, bigger fish. I like this. Bigger pedo. I like catch this. yourself a ditty. Catch yourself a ditty. Dude, Holy and shit. if you have John Taffer It's like a there. weird version of Pokemon. Yeah. Catch a ditty. <laughs> catch a ditty. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. When when when, when Bohemian Grove ripped that off. Fuckers. That's so funny. You know they never addressed it. That's how you know that they know. It. That's how you know that they stole it. Yeah, that's like any yeah. I mean, I don't care, but just Look, I don't care if people use my shit. I really don't. But just be like, I got this idea from hit this place. That's Shout it. out. That's all you have at to least. do. And they'll be like, damn, yeah. dude, that would be at least cool if you just Yeah, because you know, you know what they should have done? They should have said that. And then I would have retweeted the shirt and been like, oh, I have a tw- almost 12,000 people following me on Instagram. Go check out this shirt. I would have done that for them. Yeah, well, they're a bunch of... I don't understand. I don't know. A bunch of uh, slurs, I'll tell you. No, I don't know. If you want to hear um, what I'm going to call them, so, go on Patreon. <laughs> so you know what's funny about this Diddy thing? Is it, uh, there's this guy, his name's Dom Luker, Breaker of Narratives on Twitter. And um, he, uh, he he's the one of the guys, he's like a super like like Epstein. He posts a lot of truth shit about okay, like Diddy nice. and stuff. He and, and since the Diddy stuff's been going around, uh, aka Black Joker, um, He's been popping up. <laughs> he's been popping off into my my feed again on Twitter, and I follow him. And this guy used to follow me on my old account. Oh shit! And he's like, su- dude, he has one point two million followers. Oh shit! Yeah, no, he like makes a full on living, um, just tweeting about like the Chinese government, Kanye, and and uh, and just Diddy Combs. Dude, I feel like the whole Chinese government thing like is is kind of an op. Like they've been our friend for so long. Who? I feel like they're. Like the whole like China's controlling our youth through. I think that that's an op too. I I really don't think that like we have a problem with China. I really. That's don't. what I'm saying. So like I think that's like the friendly enemy we're always cool with. Kind of like Russia. Well, oh, <laughs> treat Russia like shit though. Actually, yeah. China, we're well, like. I, I think that there is a legit reason for. I think that the like the the Tartaria Christian Empire Christian theocracy shit is like a real. It's got to have a be. problem with that. Something's like, got to be real dude, with that. The United States is the new Babylon. It's like so obvious. And, and when you see a nation actually be able to like uphold their heritage and their values for hundreds of years uh, through this like theocratic Christian kingdom, and I'm not saying the United States should do that. I'm just saying it like juxtaposes everything that they've built. Yeah, it fucks up our nation. And, and all of all of the insane ins and outs and the little the little hats and the <laughs> anyways this is funny dude like the one the first thing that led me down like why is russia so bad was when i learned how many russians died in world war ii i'm like what the 
Yeah, it was like thirty Wait, million or something. I didn't see that part in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, no, at yeah. all. I mean, yeah. This is. I don't want to get into that, but we've already done that. Russia was the reason we won World War Two. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. but this is so funny. Dom Luker says, "Please consider following my Instagram. I got banned because I'm black." <laughs> <laughs> that it's like probably not true, but if I can help Mark Zuckerberg look racist, I will. Dom, you rock, dude. Hell yeah. I, I love shit like this. This is like a, a, a legit business. Oh, have you have you heard of the movie? Um, the movie, uh, the Book of Clarence. What? No. So, okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's so a long story about? short. This guy um, looks like Black Jesus. Yeah. So the uh, the guy like pretends that he's Jesus has like a grift, and then um, he ends up getting killed because he's pretending to be Jesus, and then Jesus, the real Jesus, brings him back to life. And um, apparently, it's supposed to be Jay Z was like one of the producers, and it's supposed to be this big like pro black like Jesus movie and it's like apparently it's like a, a really blasphemous I don't know I, I don't really have a point of what I'm bringing this well, up it doesn't sound that crazy but I could just tell you were looking at the tweet on my computer screen so fucking, I wanted to mention it his whole label is called Rockefeller yeah which is based off of the Rockefellers which Ooh. is Rock, Rockefellers who were dude this is so Pat, funny one of them this is, is so funny so I had a conversation with um someone and they were like you should you should go back to rehab or not rehab I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> like whoa no you should go what back to saying? to aa and aa meetings and stuff and uh they're like why don't you go anymore and i was like oh because the rockefellers the rockefeller rockefellers fuck Rockefeller. now i can't stop saying it like a black guy like, like, i can't stop saying ho. it like my fucking black ho, pin, man pin, she in the cheese no i was like um oh because it's funded by the rockefellers and they're, she's like oh that's not true and this is like a licensed therapist like a very intelligent person and i was like Oh no! Oh no! It it, it is stay in your lane. <laughs> and she, I was like, no, it is. And and then she's like, oh really? Can you explain? And I was like, she's like, it was founded by Bill and Bob, whatever. Are you gonna charge? No, this? like Bill, Bill and Bob, fucking blah blah blah. And I was like, oh no, uh, the Rockefellers gave them five thousand dollars, which at the time was equivalent to like seventy grand. Yeah. To start AA, and so like, which was like their startup, it's super weird. One of their startups. It's super weird that people get offended if you tell them i've had people that are in the program get mad at me for telling them that and you can google the information it's not like this like esoteric secret Weird stuff yeah theory. like yeah. let me i'll literally google it right now no but like air. the funny thing is like it doesn't really matter who started it if the fucking program works for you like why would that make you mad yeah and like yeah see rockefeller successfully lobbied for the prohibition of alcohol after more than a dozen years, uh, it was a year before it was founded. AA and Rockefeller gave it his full support. Damn. Yeah, he no, he gave them money. Around. He gave them money. He like, started AA. Well, and the it thing is, cool. too, is like, from what I understand about AA, and I went to AA for a long time. I still go to meetings occasionally. It's not. It's not really my thing anymore. I. I, I don't. You know, I. I don't really need the meetings. Um, and the, and the people who go to AA now are going to be like. Yo, that's what you all say. That's what they all say right before. And it's like, okay. Um, no, but like th the, the way in which they operate is like very modern day. Uh, I personally believe their uh, qualifier is like, it's very like seancey. I don't like it. No, it's there. It seems like a lot of things are like a lot of things that are being exposed are kind of like, like ritualistically. Yeah, it, it's. It, yeah. Uh, uh, like, especially Weird. since I've, like, really gotten back into, um, like, spirituality and in, in the way that I have, like, I'm I'm really into, uh, like, intention and, like, the way you talk, like, really shapes things and the way you, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, like, I used that. to, I used to, like, I, I personally feel like I used to make a lot of really mean jokes. Like, I feel like this show, I was mean. I was I mean, like, you're always mean to me. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a bully. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bully. You're a bully, and I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, you've been great, great lately. No, <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck up, dude. You're such a fucking bitch. I, I'm a bully, yeah. Uh, a boule. I'm a boule. No, but I think, like, um, yeah, like, the way you talk really affects things, and I don't know, yeah, chaos, magic, and, and what, you. whatnot. Yeah, but I don't... I don't. Well, now... Yeah, I'm. I'm. My circle is uh, that the eye of a needle. It's very small. Yeah, mine's always been small, but if you say it's intentional, you don't look crazy and autistic. 
so it was intentional. Yeah, yours is just the way it is. Yours is like yeah. natural. I, that's like, your, I kind of like That's it your like natural this. habitat. Yeah, it gets comfy here. I, d- Rain, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about this on the air. I, <laughs> I will never forget. I'll never forget this. The first time like a listener approached us and was like, I listened to the Duh Heads. Do you know when that was? It was in Skanks Fest, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It was at Skank Fest. And, uh, Chicago? Yeah, it was a guy from Chicago. Yeah, I remember him. And do you remember what you did and what you said to him? I probably said something super awkward, like, I, dude, I, love I you. was, I was, <laughs> I was shocked at what you did. I was drunk too. Do you remember that? Were you drinking? I didn't even remember. Oh, you were drinking. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't right. drink anymore. I don't I know. I don't allegedly like think about it. sold a stuff at the oh yeah i remember that yeah i had that pink uh, oh yeah you did pink lemonade vodka the pussy no the guy was like he introduced himself i can't remember his name phil right or was it mark anyways it doesn't matter he was you're super fucking nice guy you like we'll see you you really you really like made us feel really good it was really cool anyways he's like yeah your show's good blah 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 and you literally did this you literally went yeah i ate a lot last night and i have diarrhea and then you walked away and you took a phone call. Yes, you did. I don't have diarrhea, but okay. You what? said that. You literally said, "I Rain, I swear no, I on my you. dad's mom's I life. I don't talk to people like that. That's you literally insane. did. You went, yeah, I ate something crazy. I have some diarrhea. That's what you, I swear to God, you did that. I could see that being like the third sentence, but maybe, I don't maybe think. not, maybe <laughs> not like my opening. Hi, nice to, I it was said nice to meet it you. It was literally, you said like, yo, you nice. You sound crazy. That you is- said. No, this is what happened. Okay, shake my hand. You were like, hey, nice to meet Say nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, I, yeah, that's how fast it was. No, I don't think so. You did. <laughs> yes, I don't, you I don't did. Believe you. No. And then Celine you're, called you're, you and you walked away. And then <laughs> and then I was just stuck with this guy. And then I was like, uh, hey. So, <laughs> <laughs> <He's> so, <laughs> that's I mean, what happened. Sure, yeah, right, you can't say you're autistic and then deny no, the, the I, diarrhea no, I will combo. say I'm autistic, but I that I you don't, did it. <laughs> no, I don't talk to like anybody like that. That's what's wild. I don't know. I think you I got like it. nervous or something. No, I think you because I remember you did it. And I was like, like, that was crazy. I was like, that was nuts. I told Avery about it. I was like, it was insane. That's fucking crazy. No way. <laughs> There's no way. You, I think you have like a different recollection of things sometimes. <laughs> Nick Mullen got you to did. your head, dude. You did, you did. A picture did. with Nick Mullen got to. I know. Our executive producer. Huh? Our, re- our totally real executive producer. Oh, yeah. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. That's so Shout out the funny. agent for Nick Mullen. All right. Um, for the call. <laughs> thank you, Gira. Dude. <laughs> That's a cool name. Um, hang on. Let's see. No. We 50, gotta- okay, 50 Cent tweeted this just now. You moved... A mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, you little sex worker, and it's a picture of P Diddy. What the <laughs> fuck? I think he might be talking about the female in front of him. Maybe that's his. Ex. No, I think he is too, but it's just funny. That'd um, be cool if he's like, "No, P Diddy's the ex." Like I don't we're know. Slamming, we're slamming each other. Have you heard the Meek Mill? P Diddy or not P Diddy? I'm sorry. Fifty Cent is legit. So funny. He's fucking hilarious. We've talked dude, about this. On you got to be funny to show up at halftime upside down fat. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> yeah, it rocked, dude. P Diddy, like, I don't know, man. My whole thing with him, like, he's never been good at anything. Like, at least Jay Z has a few good songs. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying Fifty Cent has never been good at anything? No, P Diddy. Oh. Yeah, I mean, whatever. We're, like I don't, he shouldn't be worth this much money as all. Well, how many people are worth this much money who just make Joe Rogan trash? Joe Rogan. I mean, just no. Let's let's be honest here about about old old Joe. Joe Rogan at a specific time did provide like a really cool. It was cool. Like twenty. Let's say I'll say like twenty fourteen to like twenty seventeen. It was really cool. He had RFK on. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you don't want to vote for the new president of the United States? Yeah, no. All those fucking uh, faggots who stalk me, who want me to join their cabal, the L.A. cabal. Well, I, this we, is what we I say. Let, we can't let Trump win the election. So we can't let, we let Trump. We can't let me. My dad was shot. Yeah, I just don't. You know, like. Do you know that every the, the company's owned by the three companies, BlackRock? It's like, but dude, did you know global warming's real? My voice hurts. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's, I just, I don't know, man. Like, I, I think RFK is there to uh, do this. Like, yeah, that's what every, yeah, it's like, hey, over here, you know, whatever. I'm Trump's going to win. I'm Trump's going to win. Yeah. No, but also, like, 
like why would you run independent? Why would you? Why are you doing all these things that you know are just not going to? to yeah, to but work? That, you like could be, you could say that for any independent. I know, but it, Ross it, Perot, it's Bernie got fucked. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I Bernie, know, Bernie the, didn't run independent. Well, it's because they all... <laughs> Bernie was well, a Democrat. Well, no, he was an independent for the longest time, and then he jumped on the Democratic oh, ticket. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was I didn't know that. He was like a lifelong libertarian, mm. and then he jumped onto the fucking Democratic ticket because... Libertarians he, are so funny, like, the way that they... They want to have an identity so bad. They get a bad rap. I don't... I don't think that they get any rap that they don't... Des- I think that they get think exactly so. what they want. Because a lot of people frame them as they don't believe in any type of government, only the free market. Usually, what they're talking about is not that. Yeah, they're not. They're not they're anarcho. Like just, they're just saying less government. Yeah, they're not anarcho capitalists, but they're just like they just are dumb. Like it's just funny to like. What I'm saying is, is the personality type of someone who's like I'm a libertarian is, is someone who doesn't have it's cokehead energy, dude. It's cokehead yeah, energy. but it, but it's also like they don't have the personality or the like traits or the hobbies that like would make them interesting otherwise right yeah. so it's you know who's who's the same category of person is a neo-pagan so what the ne- fuck is that? neo-pagans are you're gonna love this neo-pagans are the people who are like i'm a viking oh, right yeah so b- because they watch the viking show one time they're like, Which is like i'm loose. ragnar i'm ragnar i'm, I'm a, a fictional character <laughs> i'm i'm a i'm a lothbrook and they do the fucking eye thing it's like these people who they're wearing eyeliner it's like. it's, it's just like <laughs> this is what it is it's white guys trying who to have identity man rain let me please finish a thought <laughs> it's can. it's right it's white guys okay who are trying to find anything to make them interesting and instead because like they just like it's so funny to like pick and choose when in your history you're gonna be a member of that thing so it's like you know all of fucking europe was christian all of it all of it was fucking christianized and they're like i'm going to go back all the way exactly 800 years to when i was a when i was floki like I'm it's so fucking like this like a weird yeah it's like so of... stupid like but i get it like wh- no it's gay the only the part i get is like if you're like just a fucking Amer- like a, a white ass just a construction working american and then you take a 23 and me and you're like hold on I'm I'm Ragnar. Like, oh shit! Yeah, but I that's have an the identity pr- now. Because everything. But that's else not was- your. That's not what you are. You're a white construction worker. Well, that's, that's what, what you I'm are. Saying. So like, instead of their identity being based around like Roll Tide and like fucking, which is what bar- it is, barbecue. Yeah. Like that's they're like retarded. oh, there's deeper shit. I get it. That's retarded. That's so I, retarded. Yeah, but it's the same shit. So then like, why wouldn't they just like, go we back? We were kings, dude. We was kings. Yeah. <laughs> that's stupid, too. Okay. Just so trying. then why wouldn't you... This is my point, though. Is this why people? wouldn't you go back to, like, the 1500s? Okay, the 1500s when they we were, were when they were Christian. Because we still had slaves, and it's not cool to have slaves. No, it's just dumb. It's like, okay, I'm going to go back specifically to this time frame before they were Christianized, but... but when they had Thor, but it's like the neo pagans also are gay because they're like, oh the lo- the god of thunder Thor is my ba ba ba. It's like shut the fuck they're up. They're actually if they would go on the streets and yell at people, they're the exact equivalent to the black Israelites. Yeah, well, no, because like well, no, no, no. There's one time yeah, in history no. we built the fucking pyramids, yeah. dude. Oh yeah, that is funny, huh? We we were the first ones. Yeah, neo pagans <laughs> are just neo pagans are just black Israelites. Pretty much, they just need, to, like I said, they need to go on the streets of fucking Austin and start barking at people. Like, there's so many fucking people, dude. In my old, when I used to live in my apartment complex with one of my exes, there was this guy named George, and George was like literally like 350 pounds, probably five five, and his parents owned the apartment complex, and he was the manager, oh, and he man. would walk around. He had the fucking shaved mohawk ponytail, and he would wear like. Iron sharpens iron and it would be like Floki from from oh, Vikings God. like this on the shirt and he would just be like yeah uh he talked like this he had like one of those mouths that never <laughs> closed and he's always smiling and he's like yeah, yeah uh 
Uh, last night you fell asleep in your car for two hours drunk uh, and you parked in the middle of the street and we actually had to get your girl uh, to come move your car in the middle of the night. Uh, can you not do that again? And I was like, oh, you're a Viking? Oh, Floki. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a Viking, huh? And I remember I asked him. I fucking hate these kind of people. I remember I asked him. I was like, oh, so you're uh, you're a Viking or something? Like, you're like oh, Norse. you're Norse. And he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I would just, I would ask him questions about it. And it was just, cause like, all if you're going to be into, the, all based in the TV show. Yeah. If you're going to be into Nordic runes, at least be true and be a fucking white supremacist or something. Like, Dude. actually, I'm being dead serious. If you're going to actually be into that shit, be a white supremacist. For, seriously. I mean, seriously. you don't have to do that. You can at least, you better know some druid shit. To me, <laughs> some you know, druid shit? Yeah, like what? That, like, like what? old ass, like, here's a rune that, like, wasn't even. This is pre Viking shit. Like, speak Gaelic. Yeah, don't go to Ku Klux Klan, dude. Come on. No, do that. Don't go the Hitler route. If you're going to be. Definitely wear horns. If you're going to be a. a in, if you're going to be a neo pagan, go all the way. No, don't replace the pagan with the Nazi. Just keep it neo pagan. No, That's definitely. But I'm not saying be a Nazi. <laughs> I'm saying be a neo pagan. I'm not saying be a Nazi. I'm just saying the Nazis use runes. You know what I feel like it is too? It's a lot of people being like, oh, you know why I'm an alcoholic? Uh, Because my heritage, they drink uh, beer. Just drink beer all the time. That's why I can drink. I'm also 350 pounds isn't fat when you go back in time. It's actually not fat. Yeah, that's funny. It's funny too when they're like, yeah, the Vikings are so huge. They're like five, they were like five, six on average. They're me and Joe Rogan just like, yeah. Like, like I'm gonna be honest, Rain. If you were like wore a a, a, a Thor's hammer and and were like, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking Phrygian, I'd be like, you're gay. Dude. I'm putting together a Renaissance outfit, but it's not that. That's that's not Renaissance is a different thing. That's okay. like your that's a hobby. That's no, see, it's like see, once a year thing. <clears throat> this yeah. is the problem. The Fucked problem is, it, the, and this is for anyone when you're when you're your culture, not even culture, like. When your identity becomes so enthralled in like this fake thing of like, you know what I mean? Like, a TV like show. I'm a Japanese <laughs> guy. I'm just a Japanese guy. Gong dong ding dong dong. Samurai like, from the show show. Yeah, it's like you have nothing interesting about you other than like this thing you can't even control that it's is like being fed to you by Hollywood. Yeah, like. Like, like the Vikings horns. That's not even real. That wasn't even a real thing. Like there's a, like a lot of stuff from that shit that is real, but it's like, it's just twisted with like the mythology too, that like, they're like, yeah, you, you, you actually, you are son of Odin. Yes. Ragnar was a fake fucking person. No, he was real. That's not what I read. He was real. Was his name not uh, Ragnar? Though? No, it was. It was Ragnar Lothbrok. He was I'm a real person. Just wrong about everything then. I didn't say. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, like, it, I don't know. I just I don't like when people. It's a good show though. But it's it, it's like the same thing. It's like I'm a redneck. It's like it. it I think what it is is it's yeah. like you know I'm a white guy me. embarrassed by other white guys who do that because here's no. the thing. I was a, dr- a drunk alcoholic with no personality who started to do that and I caught myself and was like I'm not gonna be this guy. Well, I don't have any culture because I'm an individual. So it's just like I have my family connection that I know of, like. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, but you're fucking, just your you're just yourself. Yeah, you know my what I mean? dad's part Polish and Italian. That doesn't mean I fucking have some weird connection to like. Oh, that's why I love pizza. And the pasta old world. So, oh, I, love, I love pasta so much because I'm part Italian. It's like no, it tastes good. You fucking retard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, but it's. I, I just think it's. I mean, it's like the, it's like the perfect thing. Like we we're talking about four chan. On I, was that on the fucking Patreon? I don't even remember. We we're talking about four chan people on it who are asking for advice. And it's kind of the same thing. It's like these people who can't articulate who they are, so they have to like cling to these things that are just fake. It's not real. Yeah, and that's why you see people like you see more furries now. You see more. I I respect furry. People. I respect furries more than I respect a, a fucking a guy who's like. But my, Ooh, I'm Floki, the Gaelic, the Gaelic <laughs> Norseman. It's like act shut like up. You're from Lord of the Rings and said my whole thing is they're trying to base their like. They're everything around it because they don't have an identity. It's like a, a, yeah. a Marvel nerd or like an adult that's like, I love WWE stuff like that. They're like, they don't have anything going on in their life. Yeah. But they have another friend that likes that dresses up as a dog. And it's only going to take about two years for them to start being like, you know what? I get it. Yeah. Well, I, you, well, I don't know. It's weird because I get in these little pockets where like, you can tell I'm going through some shit when I'm like, I'm playing Pokemon again. <laughs> You're like, Hey guys, I'm streaming Pokemon for five hours today. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, like it, it's like a, 
I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it, it it's like something that you have to catch yourself as an adult of like, they, there's like little pitfalls everywhere. And it's like, if you don't notice the signs, you're going to be a guy who fucking, you know, dresses up like Ragnar and you're, and you're buying, you're buying a fucking six pack of Natty Ice in the fucking gas station and everyone's looking at you and you have a fucking ponytail mohawk and yes. you're you're that guy. Like but you know he pours it into his plastic horn when he gets yeah. home and he chugs it and that makes yeah. him a Viking. <laughs> like like be the construction guy. You're the construction guy. Yeah, you're the guy that puts bricks on top of other bricks. That's what you are. Do that. You, you think know? you're better than Juan. But it's but it's not it, it's not like a it's it's not that people can't like things because I think that sometimes like people confuse when I have these points, people think that I'm saying not to like stuff. I'm, no, I'm just saying all. like we love Lord of the Rings, dude. You love anime. You're not trying to be an actual like airbender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it is. That's yeah, because you're, you're trying to be this romanticized version of something that's not real, and you're basing your actual identity off, off of, of it. Fantasy. And that's what makes it really bad. Like there's so many people where I live now that have beards and, and ponytail mohawks and are like, I'm, I'm Floki. Look, I am Floki, the water man. I'm, oh. I'm a boat builder, Floki. Oh, you see this tattoo? Oh, the tattoo <laughs> actually means that I am from long line of warriors. I'm Floki. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, oh, were those Here, the guys, were those the guys who became Christian? In the in the in the fifteen hundreds, what's the guys who got convinced? See, but that's what Christian? I don't get. That's lose, what I don't get is like why? Gods? Why would you? Yeah, why? Like why would you choose? Like when do you, when does it stop? It's just cool because it's forgotten and doesn't exist. Today. Like when does it stop? It, it's kind of like this. Like okay, do you think the equivalent- think about this? Think about this. Okay, we are Northern European. We're Frisian. We're Germanic and what a Dutch. Yeah, part of us. Right. So, do I stop there? Do I? Do I stop at in like my grandparents who moved out here from Arkansas in the 1800s? Like, am I a, am I a cowboy? Do you gravitate like, more to your Spanish like genes? Or yeah, am like, I am I a Spanish conquistador from the 1500s? Where do I stop? What do I choose? Like, you're you're everything. I don't like, understand. Oh, that's why I like Spanish food and salsa. Yeah, but like, well, but people say, uh, people say like you are you're more your father is what you are. So then I would say I'm more Spanish, but also I'm not like. I don't cling to this Spanish identity. If I was an MMA fighter, I wouldn't have a Spanish flag. I, I just don't. Yeah, and because that... I think maybe I just think nationalities in general are dumb. I don't know. Well, nationalism is is stupid because that's kind of what like cultural culture is mostly based off of. It's like... Like, what is like American like nationalism? American flag, fireworks, barbecue. That's uh -huh. why... I, was, I think that's why people really want to be a Viking. They're like, it's just like America isn't that cool. It's just like all we do is be loud and yell at people yeah, about being American. But like guns. look at Sweden. Like sweet like okay, Sweden now is like the gayest country on the planet. Yeah, but they've always been gay. They've always been the guy like No, in they the used middle. to be Vikings. Yeah, they're, they're That's the the Swedes used to be Vikings. That's what I'm saying. Like well, then, yeah. when do you start? When do you pick? Well, then they gotta know they're from a sus culture because like Swedish people are they're always like, eh, we'll go where the money goes. It's Vikings fine. Vikings were like the first They're like pirates. No, they're yeah, they're like merchants, but they were like the first feminists. Hmm. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, they they had some fucking strong women. They might have been the first dudes to get pegged when you think about it. They probably were. Well, not the first. Not the, the first. first ones get pegged. Well, the people in the Bible in Sodom and Gomorrah were getting pegged fucking 2,000 years ago. Dude, you got to run a TikTok psyop and start dressing up as a Viking because you got the blonde hair. You could totally pull it off and start like convincing dudes to get I should, pegged. I should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get like, pegged for oh, Odin. Back in, Val get in Valhalla, for... the warriors get pegged by the, the Valkyrie with the spears. God, uh, please stop. I'm like getting angry. <laughs> I'm like getting angry. You started dude. this, baby. I started I'm just this. finishing it. Yeah, man, it, it's it's so. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, dude. When I go to the Renaissance Fair, I think it's about in like a month. When I go there, dude, it's gonna be. There's a lot of dudes that like that. I remember this one dude. He puts like, um, I'm sure some of it is tattoo, but I think he puts like a bunch of like black ink on him. Uh huh. He's buff as shit. He's like he goes shirtless for a reason. He's like the shirtless Viking with the big ass yeah. character. He's that guy, and I know for sure if you were to interview him, he'd be like. Yeah, all my family's Norse. Let's do it. Every single... Wait, when is the Ren Fair? Why don't we go do... One month, because the booths are expensive. The what's expensive? We can, You want to go to the Ren Fair with me? Yeah, why don't we make a video out of it? 
well, us what at I the Ren Fair. Wanted to do what I want to do one day still, but the like I was saying, the booths are pretty expensive. Oh, the booths! Fucking medieval let's do podcasting. Let's do a. We should do. Let's set. Let's actually set that up. That'll be a. a we'll we'll set that up. The booth is like seven fifty a day, dude. Seven hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck that. Yeah, dude. No, it's that's not, way too expensive. Yeah, like, it's we're not, not cheap. We're not doing that yet. But you know, maybe in a year we'll do that we in, in in the future. Well, dude, let's write that podcasting down. Podcasting is if anybody fucking steals. Don't say that we're gonna. I'm gonna bleep all of this out. I'm I'm gonna bleep God all of this it, out dude. because it's, someone will take that idea. It's my best idea. We get wait. We're getting way like, too many views for like three a day. Um. Te- yeah, text me that right now. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna text. I'll text myself. No, we should do that. That's funny. Um, but we should go. Don't. But we should go, and we should actually do like a vlog. That would be super funny. Yeah, it'd be cool. And I'll I'll get like pretty decently drunk. And there's like a they have like a smoking section. Like at least what I found to be a smoking section. You yeah. can smoke weed. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, good thing there's weed. Check about check out hit kit. Good thing there. They good thing old. there's weed. What would you do? <laughs> What would I do without weed? What would you do without it? What would you do without... I would just have less fun. That's it. Just less sounds, fun. It's still have fun. Fair video. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Like, seriously, that would be a good idea. When is... what? What's the date? Do you know? I know it's next month, because, like... All right. So, you got to uh, plan for a costume. Yeah, okay. It's not It's not easy. I wore Doc Martens last year, so, like... I I'll get something. Like, I'll get something fire. I'm not in full Viking. I'll get, I'll get something fire. I'm Floki with Doc Martens. Have you I'll heard have of the my, Doc uh, Martens from 1940? Oh, well, these are <laughs> Doc Martens. All right, we got to go. Peace. Go to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash diets. Fucking you. weird. It's Anytime you bring up something that's super wrong, weird. I never do that shit to you. I'm like, oh, dude, I've been doing this for this long. I don't fucking... Uh. We literally... Never literally three episodes ago, we had a massive fight, and that's all you did was, was uh, fucking grandstand about how you played bass for 13 years. Because I get true. zero credit for any Anything I've done because